Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. In this video, I will be explaining you regulation of purine biosynthesis. Purine molecule is synthesized by using phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate. Now this phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate is abbreviated as PRPP. Now the PRPP it is synthesized from a molecule called ribose 5 phosphate. See the ribose 5-phosphate, it is coming from pentose phosphate pathway. Ribose 5-phosphate is converted into 5-phosphoribosyl 1-pyrophosphate, that is what is PRPP. This job, it will be done by an enzyme called PRPP synthetase. Now, once you get PRPP, which is a sugar and phosphate molecule, so you are going to um, build a base on this particular PRPP. So, to make a purine ring, purine ring has got 9 atoms, you are basically getting each atom from metabolic intermediates and you are going to build a base, that is a purine base on PRPP. Very first enzyme in building that purine base is glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase. It is going to bring the glutamine molecule and add it on to PRPP, that is why the name of the enzyme is glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase. So this enzyme, it is going to add glutamine, amino acid glutamine onto PRPP. Glutamine is added onto PRPP to make 5-phosphoribosyl 1-amine. Pyrophosphate is taken out and the amino group from the glutamine, it will be added. Basically, you are going to get a nitrogen from the glutamine. So this job, it will be done by glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase enzyme. Now once you get 5-phosphoribosyl 1-amine, so all the other metabolic intermediates which are contributing to each atom present in a purine base, so they will get into the reaction, multiple reactions go, go on and you are going to get IMP, inosine monophosphate. Now the IMP is in the crossroads. IMP can go into XMP formation, that is anthocyanin monophosphate formation, and, and that job is done by IMP dehydrogenase enzyme. Now, XMP can be converted to GMP, guanosine monophosphate, and guanosine monophosphate. Furthermore, it can be converted into guanosine diphosphate and then into guanosine triphosphate. That is one fate of inosine monophosphate. Now the inosine monophosphate can also be converted into adenylosuccinate done by an enzyme called adenylosuccinate synthetase. Now adenylosuccinate furthermore can be converted into AMP, adenosine monophosphate, can be converted into later into ADP, adenosine diphosphate and then into ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Now these are, there are four important enzymes in purine biosynthesis, purine nucleotide biosynthesis and those are PRPP synthetase, glutamine phosphoribosyl, amidotransferase, IMP dehydrogenase, adenylosuccinate synthetase. These are the four important enzymes in purine nucleotide biosynthesis. These are the enzymes which are regulated in purine nucleotide biosynthesis. Now let's get into each of them. PRPP synthetase. PRPP synthetase enzyme, it will be feedback inhibited by guanosine diphosphate guanosine diphosphate will have a negative effect on PRPP synthetase. Whenever guanosine diphosphate accumulates, it will have a negative effect on PRPP synthetase, thereby PRPP synthesis decreases, thereby nucleotide biosynthesis decreases. And also on the other side, adenosine diphosphate will have a negative effect on PRPP synthetase enzyme. So accumulation of adenosine diphosphate will have the same effect as with the accumulation of guanosine diphosphate and bring down the pathway. Now, whenever there is accumulation of all the six molecules, that is guanosine, diphos uh, guanosine monophosphate, guanosine diphosphate and guanosine triphosphate, all these three molecules, whenever these three molecules accumulate, they will have a negative effect on glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase, all three of them, accumulation of guanosine monophosphate, guanosine diphosphate, guanosine triphosphate will have a negative effect on glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase. In the same way, accumulation of adenosine monophosphate, adenosine diphosphate and adenosine triphosphate, all three of them will have a negative effect on 
glutamine phosphoribosyl amino transferase enzyme. That is why the glutamine phosphoribosyl amino transferase is also referred as uh, one of the most regulated enzyme in purine nucleotide biosynthesis and this is the rate limiting step in purine nucleotide biosynthesis. Okay. Now, IMP dehydrogenase, it is feedback inhibited by guanosine monophosphate. Whenever there is accumulation of guanosine monophosphate, it will have an immediate negative effect on IMP dehydrogenase. In the same way, whenever there is accumulation of adenosine monophosphate, it will have an immediate negative effect on adenylosuccinate synthetase enzyme. Now, there are four enzymes in purine nucleotide biosynthesis which are regulated. So, that is PRPP synthetase which are negatively modulated by GDP and ADP. Then we have glutamine phosphorabyssal amidotransferase which is a regulated and rate limiting enzyme in purine nucleotide biosynthesis and that enzyme is inhibited by six molecules and they are GMP, GDP, GTP on this side, AMP, ADP, ATP on the other side. All six of them will have a negative effect on this enzyme. And the IMP dehydrogenase is negatively modulated by GMP and adenylosuccinate synthetase negatively modulated by AMP. All these are negative modulators. Now let's come to the positive modulator on purine nucleotide biosynthesis. Whenever there is accumulation of PRPP that is phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate that will have a positive effect on glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase enzyme. This is the only positive modulator on this glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase that is the accumulation of PRPP. And also note that glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase is also called as PRPP glutamyl amidotransferase. So there are two names for this particular enzyme. So this is about purine nucleotide, regulation of purine nucleotide biosynthesis. Thanks for watching and this is all about uh, purine nucleotide uh, biosynthesis regulation. So, uh, I have a video on pyrimidine nucleotide biosynthesis. For the, the link for that is available in the description below and also it is appearing at the end of this video. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and also for regular updates, you can consider subscribing to this channel so that you will be informed and also the videos will be appearing in the recommended uh, video list whenever you open YouTube. Thanks again and uh, see you in my next video.